Alright, first off guys, read the description. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. Uh, when we last left off, we were just about to get the uh, delicious, delicious morph ball bombs. Yeah, I'm just doing my usual refilling, but they they raped me a little bit too much. I didn't like that too much. But anyway, morph ball bomb, yay! As usual, we can't get out. I do pretty good. I I pretty much destroy this dude, but he blocks my uh, he blocks the missiles I shoot more oft uh, more often than I would like him to. But I still do pretty good. Jumping around, trying to get the hell out. But that's the first time I've ever killed him with full health. By the way. Oh yeah. In this video, I use this this uh, speed up button a lot, so because I lost because I lost a bunch of time anyway, or I was being timed basically. All right. Instead of going down further into Criteria again to get those missiles and stuff like that, like I usually do, I'm just going to go ahead and go to Brinstar. And we get the first energy tank of the game. Oh shit. I did my usual m missile for missile instead of rolling through them and taking damage. I c it would save on time, but I don't, I don't really give a crap. Alright. Brinstar, here we come. Right, now we're in Brinstar. Now, usually when you watch something like this, you'll you'll watch the speed run or uh, the LP or uh, sequence break and not fight Spore Spawn. Well, I don't do that. I actually fight Spore Spawn because I could never do Mock Ball and I don't really care. I'm I'm good enough at this game to not have to sequence break completely. There is one point where I do sequence break, but it's it's too easy not to do it. Get that is of course getting the wave beam early. If uh if you if you're even competent and can even pull off a a half a half assed wall uh wall jump, then you can. There's no reason for you not to get the wave beam early. All right, we're gonna get the charge beam. All right. Now we're going to go all the way back up. I'm trying to be a little fancy with the wall jumping, but I don't sometimes I don't need to be doing that. That that stupid bug always gets me. I hate him. All right, let's see. I've actually gotten to the point where I can uh I can hit Spore Spawn twice before he closes up. I've never been able to do that. But the last two or three runs I've done of this, I've been able to do it. The trick to hitting him twice is to is to is when you jump when you jump to uh shoot him or whatever, you shoot you shoot a missile as you're going up and then shoot another one right afterwards and you'll you'll hit him because usually when Sports Bomb gets hit, he goes up in an upward position. Right now, I'm just refilling. This stupid key hunter gets me. I forgot to, I forgot to charge up before I went in there because I'm an idiot. And then this one right here, he gets me before I can get a full charge. Ugh. This run wasn't, or this video wasn't too great. I was taking a lot of unnecessary damage, and Sports Bomb almost kills me. Which never happens. You could tell I was in a rush. I was trying to get this video done. But, like I said, read the description for the explanation because I don't really want to waste time talking about it. Or wait, maybe, uh, maybe, oh yeah, this is one. 
I take a lot of unnecessary damage. You could tell I was in a real big hurry. I wanted to get this video done within the 10 minute mark. I basically had no choice but to hurry. Refilling, doing the same old. See, sports spawn isn't so bad when you have fast forward. See, I should have killed him right then, but I missed. Alright, collecting the health because I was low. Alright, there we go. Missed the wall jump right there. Alright. Super missiles, yay! I got a refill right here. Just doing the same old, same old. Alright, we're coming up to the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been Let's Play Super Metroid. See you guys uh, next video.